So here's the box that the liner comes in. And you can see this is the drawing of the bottom of the pool. Let me see if I can uh, zoom that in a little bit better. Anyway, so I, on their webpage, they have a measurement uh, diagram, not a diagram, yeah, basically a diagram. It looks like this, and you just put in the numbers, and uh, it looks more difficult than what it is. It took me about an hour to measure it with uh, the boys helping, because I had to run a couple plumb bobs and snap. That's, that's insignificant of the story. So here's the drawing. So I ordered it. The liner was 700 bucks, roughly. Might have been 716 or 696. I don't remember. I know it had some sixes in it, but it was around 700. I know that. So it comes in a box like this. Not that big, you know. It's all folded up in there. Comes with some new stickers. And uh, which? Oh, it's a sign. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's a plastic sign. That's cool. Uh, so the box isn't that big. I'm trying to put it next to something so you get perspective. I don't know. There's a milk milk crate with some sprayers in it, so you can see. So it's about three milk crates long and one milk crate tall. So that's what it comes in, and it's all folded up, and it, it had uh, it had a sticker on it said deep. So we said, okay, that's the deep end. So we drug that at, drug it down there, and it had arrows on it. Arrow sticker pointing, okay, lay it down here and then start unrolling it with the arrow, with the direct, uh, with the arrow. Unroll it. So that's what we did. Rolled it out and we uh, put the, um, I need to save that for the future. Maybe even frame it. That's what I should do. I'm going to frame it. All right. So before I get out there and the, the pump is making all the noise and all that stuff. I'll tell you. All right. So we unrolled it. We drug it down. There's groundwater that comes up about 10 inches in the deep end. So we had that pump going, blasting the water out. I ended up renting another submersible pump. Here's, here's a little submersible that I had, but... It worked good for its thing, but I went and got one. It was 70 gallons a minute. It cost me 40 bucks to rent it. Scout's taking it back right now. And that's what got the job done. Getting the water out, and then that could barely keep up. And we kept a, we kept a pump, couple pumps going down there, and that one going, keeping the water out away. And we hooked these corners in, the shallow end corners first, and then did a bu bunch of the wall going down. And then we went down and hooked that corner in, and then this corner in. But as we were doing it, and if they all it does is like, like literally, you just take the rubber and you, it's got a little barb on it, like a fishing hook. Push it up in that little slot, and it go once it slides in. When it pulls back, it hooks. So it's not it was easy. But uh, so. Well, I, actually, I messed with that corner for about 15 minutes. Got it close, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna, I'm, not, I'm gonna stop." I was getting frustrated. Came down, did this corner. This corner is really easy. And then readjusted a couple things, slid it down, gave me enough there, and boom, got that corner. And you can see I got sticks in it now. I'll either go through and cut them off so they're behind the coping, or pull them out once the pool's full. But just while it's filling, I don't want to. I'll put it down so you can see. There's just little wedges in the corner. My diving board is normally right here. There's a pipe that goes down underneath the pool. That's where it's pulling water from. It's uh, groundwater. It's groundwater. And it's so clear. No sediment in it. You see this corner? I got a lot of sticks. This pump is a billow pump. And it works best if I have it up. It keeps it the line full and it, if I put it down, it's not, it's not doing the job it was. If I take, take that cover off, there's a, like a piston, it goes like this. You just sit there and spin. 
And then this is a rubber bladder right here. Just like, that's a big chunk of rubber, and it just moves it up and down. Boom, boom, like give CPR. That's what we're doing in the pool, give it CPR. And it's pulling the groundwater out. Why buy water? Why buy water? As I'm running gas, you know. It'll take a day, but it's water under the ground. Uh, uh, 8,000 gallons, well, or 16,000 gallons, two tanker loads. Two tanker loads, two 8,000 gallon tanker loads is $630. So for 16,000 gallons is $630. And uh, I'm not gonna do it. This is seven cents a gallon, which is almost double the price if I go and get a semi truck. City water is seven cent, almost seven cents a gallon. The, the other one is like just under four cents a gallon from by from the big truck. It'd be nice and this and that, but that pump's doing most of the work. These are doing well, even if it costs me a couple hundred bucks extra on my gas. It, I'm still, I still win. Plus, it's just cool that you're like using what you have underneath your existing property. So, anyways, yeah, we got it all in. I'll tell you, the drain was a nightmare because the pumps could barely. We were still dealing in like three inches of water. We couldn't get it lower than that, no matter what we were doing. And so, I had the boys all standing on the on the liner around the drain plus Ryan and we had all our tools. I had my cutting blade, I had my drill gun, I had all the screws, the covers and the snap. And we had to push it down because it wants to float up. Imagine standing on a water bed and trying to put a drain in to the bottom underneath the water bed. That's the way, it's, the way it was. It was not it wasn't a perfect situation. It was frustrating. So they had him standing on there and Ryan and I we found the ring. We put this ring down around it's got like seven eight screws going around it and we go to put the first one in we think we're on the hole on the ring and this and that and we put a hole through the liner which is what you're supposed to do long story short we put the ring on and that original hole was outside of that ring so we had groundwater shooting up it was just like a half inch outside of that ring and we got the ring all screwed down and I was like, and water was pouring through it. And I was like, we, we're gonna patch it. And the patch idea, at last minute, Ryan goes, what if you just, we just loosen these screws up, take those screws out right by where the leaks are, and then pull that liner in a couple inches. Cause we hadn't cut the center out or anything yet. And that's what we did. We got the hole inside that ring Redrilled the thing, boom, bada bang. It was a game changer, saved me. Saved me, because we were getting ready to put a hokey patch on it, it would have never worked. But anyways, so that's legit now. The skimmer box, I still need to just go and cut the metal out, or not the metal, I'm sorry, the, um, the vinyl out. You know, the, we got, you press that on there and put the screws back in. The stairs went pretty good, got lucky. What you do is, there's the chunk that was all the way across. You hang your liner and have that go all the way across and get everything kind of way you want it. And Ryan stood in this corner and pushed it down and this and that, we got it nice and tight. And uh, we put those trim pieces on. That's what holds the liner up against there. We found all the, got it back where it needs to be. So it's, it's good. And, uh, so anyways, there's the chunk. I know you guys are like, oh, chunk. I love you, chunk. Let me see here. So that that was what I was going across the uh, uh, stairs. And there's the little chunk I cut out because we were going to try to patch. I had the caulk gun, everything. And I was going to try to patch that liner. And last minute, Ryan was like, Pull it inside the circle, pull the hole inside the circle, we should be good. And I was like, heck yeah. And it worked out great. So as the water is filling, I've already fallen in twice, going down in there to try to like kick wrink smooth the bottom out and stuff. There was a little wrinkle down here. And so I was kind of kicking this way. You can see some other wrinkles here, but it won't be that big of a deal. I'll, when the water comes up, I'm gonna go down in there. And when I get about a half inch of water, I'll get out, I can see what I'm gonna kick 
kick these like little wrinkles out. It needs to go that way. <laughs> Stairs are tight, which it will. It'll stretch. It'll stretch. It's got to. So that's. Uh, I know I didn't. Well, I'll show you actually. So here. Here is what. Let me go up in the shade. Maybe it might be too bright. Here's the pool liner. This is the top. This this light blue. Underneath that white pipe looking thing that's just coping or whatever. It doesn't do anything other than just look cover the edge of the concrete. But the um there's like a little metal track underneath that. And uh, I mean it's just a little metal lip. And you can see the end. So you shove it in that little slot and then it hooks and it won't come back out. And it's that simple, like literally. It's like taking it and just shoving it in the cracks of these duck boards. You just shove it in there and it, and it snaps in there pretty good. Corners can be tricky though. And what was awesome was the all four corners, they had arrows written with a, or uh, drawn on with an ink pen pointing to the corner going, which was awesome because the other cover I did 12 years ago did not have that. So you're, you can kind of tell the corners, but, uh, and then we did a liner uh, about three days ago out of Ryan's house in a kayak pool, above ground pool, and his didn't have that. That really helped. You're like, all right, jam those arrows in the corner, then everything else should be where it needs to be, you know? So anyways, I know I'm rambling on now. I'm enjoying life right now. Kim just left for Jamaica, which is not a good thing. I'm not saying that's a positive, but this was a huge accomplishment for me to get it done. The pool store, I stopped at the pool store to pick up a couple odds and ends yesterday, and I asked them how much to install a pool liner, and they said $5,000. And I said, really? I said, my heart kind of hurt. I think I might be sick. And she says, $5,000. I said, well, I already have a liner. And she's like, we don't do it with, they have to measure the liner. It's, they don't want to try to install a liner that doesn't fit properly. So anyways, uh, um, so all in right now, I spent 700 on the liner, 40 bucks on a pump uh, to help get the groundwater out. So I'm all in. Let's just say under a thousand bucks, like eight hundred bucks. I'm in it for. I'm, I'm not sure how much water from Run City Water, you know. Even if it's two hundred bucks, I'm still. I'm a thousand dollars, and the pool company wants five thousand dollars. I almost feel like getting into pool uh, liner hanging guy, you know. But that's a lot of risk. But anyways, all right. I'm gonna call it. Hopefully, everybody enjoys. Put in a pool, liner, part one, two, three, maybe up to five. And again, I'm sorry I didn't show snapping any in the rail. But, uh, oh, actually a piece is coming out over there. I'm gonna go over there. Hopefully I don't drop my phone. All right, here we go. You can see it. It's come out. So all you do is push it in there. I'm glad I was out here. It'll do that once in a while. And if I think this is gonna be a trouble spot, I'll put some wedges in there. All right, it's back in. I'll keep an eye on it. I might even uh, come put some wedges in it. Oh, there we go. Roll, roll, roll it in there. It's still hot and pliable. 
you ever have an issue